So in this video, we'll be discussing real gases and the critical state, okay, more specifically molecular interactions and the molecular volume uh, contributions of each particle that contribute to the realness of your gas. We'll also discuss the compression factor Z and what uh, it means to have a Z greater than 1, less than 1, or equal to 1. We'll also discuss the consequences of being real, more specifically the parameters that we can derive from real gas equations of state. We're uh, going to define the equation of state per se, and we're also going to survey some equations of state that are used in the study of physical chemistry and thermodynamics. We're also uh, deriving properties from real gas equations, okay? So from uh, fugacity, boil temperature, the critical parameters Tc, Pc, and Bc, the critical temperature, pressure, and molar volume. We're also deriving some um, empirical parameters like the isothermal compressibility and the thermal expansion coefficient. We'll also discuss the concept of the critical state and the properties of supercritical fluids. We'll also discuss the law of corresponding states, which is derived from the critical state. So what are real gases? So real gases have these properties that are opted out of the equation of state known as the ideal gas equation of state. So what's not here okay, is the two assumptions, okay, uh, molecular um, volume or the volume of each particles in the system in the forces of attraction and or repulsion of these particles with each other. So those are the factors that are included in the study of real gases. So molecular volume affects the actual volume of a gas because it decreases the available uh, void volume for the gas. So the only uh, volume that is dependent on the pressure and temperature dip, uh, changes is the void volume or the volume of space between these particles inside the system. So also, the intermolecular forces of attraction uh, changes the pressure of the gas. It generally decreases the pressure because it uh, serves as a drag force between uh, particles when they are passing by each other. So if the gas particles come near with each other, they slow each other down because of this IMFA, which causes their pressure to decrease because as they hit the container, Okay. The force of the uh, collision of this particle with the container decreases because of the drag force it experienced before collision. Okay. So what uh, particular concept are we trying to uh, uh, look at when we study uh, real gases? So this is the compression factor Z. So there are actually two possible forces that are dominant in the system. So attraction and repulsion. So the effect of uh, these molecular interactions causes the vo or causes the volume of the actual gas to either increase or decrease. So if we have an ideal volume, okay, and it becomes a real volume, okay. What if the real volume, okay, is greater than the ideal volume and what if the real volume is less than the ideal volume? okay so how does the gas become real so ang dinadagdag natin dito ay interactions okay so kapag nagdagdag ka ng interaction sa mga ideal gas at lumiit yung volume niya okay the v real becomes less than the v ideal may ibig sabihin yung mga particles mo they prefer uh, being closer to each other okay, than their ideal counterpart. So, ibig sabihin, the force of attraction is dominant in the system. Kasi mas gusto nila magkakalapit sila. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga particles, they attract each other. However, kapag ka naman lumaki yung real volume compared dun sa ideal counterpart, okay, mas gusto ng mga gas particles na magkakahiwala. So, they repel each other. So, dominant interaction is therefore repulsion. Okay? So, what is uh, its uh, connection with the compression factor? Actually, connection. the compression factor is equal to V real over V ideal. Okay? So, the ratio of the real to the ideal volume is the compression factor. So, if V real is greater than V ideal, of course, the ratio becomes greater than 1. This is Z. 
Okay. The repulsive forces are dominant. And if Z is less than 1, attractive forces are predominant. Okay. So how do we derive the compression factor Z? So as you can see here, we have the ideal gas equation. We'll just add V real. Okay. If you multiply both sides by V real, you'll have this expression in the second line. Right? V ideal V real is equal to NRT times V real over V ideal. And this one becomes Z. So, P ideal V real is equal to NRT Z. So, you, if you equate this, uh, this expression to Z, you'll get this expression. So, therefore, Z is a P V over NRT. Okay? So, pwede rin kasi natin express ang Z just by volumes. Okay? Okay? It's uh, basically the same not uh, equivalent. It's the same as the real over the idea. Remember that these are molar volumes. These are just volumes. So again, if Z is less than 1, attractive forces are predominant because the real volume is less than that of the ideal volume. While if Z is greater than 1, okay, uh, the repulsive forces are predominant because the real volume is greater than that of the ideal volume. So let's now discuss equations of state. So what are equations of state? They are the complete descriptions of a particular gas in a particular system at certain conditions of pressure, temperature, volume, and number of moles. Okay? So if you can describe a gas using these four okay, parameters, you basically have an equation of state. And that may be the complete description of the gas, okay? assuming that the gas doesn't have other parameters. However, in real gases, we can add certain parameters that are dependent on the nature of the gas, A and B, or maybe other variables, okay? So, how complete okay, is this description that you want to be? So, that is how an equation of state is built. So, this equation relates all these parameters in a certain equation, okay? So, um para mangyari dito, mape-predict mo yung isang parameter given the other parameters. For example, you are given a pressure, volume, number of moles, A and B, mape-predict mo na yung pressure. Okay? And you'll actually uh, be able to relate okay, these parameters side by side. Kasi malalaman mo na ngayon yung relationship ng pressure sa temperature, pressure sa volume, pressure sa number of moles, etc. Okay? How exactly are they related in this equation of state? Anyway, the first equation of state is the virial equation of state uh, devised or uh, developed by Rudolf Clausius states that the uh, compression factor of your gas is just a series of increasing 1 over V uh, powers of 1 over V and uh, uh, virial coefficients okay, are dependent on the nature of the gas. So this virial equation of state is uh, actually one of the first equations of state device after the ideal gas equation kasi na-realize nila na hindi complete yung ideal gas equation. Okay? So, the Virial Theorem okay, is one of the theorems uh, devised in the study of statistical mechanics. So, this equation of state can be incorporated to any other EOS. Basta yung EOS nyo ay merong way para makonvert into a power series. So, makikita natin yun mamaya. Also, remember this, okay? So, 1 over 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed, increasing powers of x, okay, until infinity. So, remember that, okay? Uh, tandaan nyo na lang din na it, it's only effective or it's only convergent if the absolute value of x is less than 1. So, another equation of state is the van der Waals equation of state. So, this one is the most prominent equation of state that we know because of its explicit uh, relationships between volumes and pressures. So, makikita mo agad, okay, yung uh, obvious relationships nila. So, this B is a volume correction. It also represents molecular volume, okay? And the other one is the pressure correction. This actually describes the IMFA, okay, of your molecules. So, I'm not saying that the B is directly the molecular volume of the gas. No, I'm not saying that. And also, A over V bar squared is the IMFA 
uh, force of the gas it may be related lang okay because to be able to compute for a and b you have to uh, do it experimentally okay you have to determine the critical parameters of this gas to be able to derive a and b so makikita natin mamaya kung paano sila na determine okay so you, if you equate this to p you get this equation okay so remember that uh, van der Waals equation is one of the cubic equations of state kasi kapag kinonvert mo siya sa polynomial makakuha ka ng values ng b na nasa volume na nasa power of 3 or nasa uh, third degree okay uh, power so uh, you will see v cube in the polynomial expression as the highest power okay so this is uh, johan Diederik van der Waals senior he was the one who devised this equation so the next equation of state is uh, not very far from uh, the van der Waals equation this is the berthelot equation so daniel paul albert berthelot realized that temperature is also a contributing factor in the imfa of the gas so kapag nag increase yung temperature as you can see in this equation bumababa yung contribution ng imfa dun sa equation of state because bumababa yung overall value nito okay so kapag nag increase yung temperature nagre-reach uh, ng ideality yung gas natin again if you recall, ideal uh, behavior is at lower pressures and higher temperatures. Okay? So, this is the Bertelow equation of state equated to P. Okay? Makikita nyo lang na ang pinakaiba lang niya sa Van der Waals equation is the temperature in the uh, IMFA contribution side. So, this is the IMFA term. Okay? Next is the Redlich-Wong equation of state. So, as you can see, it's been uh, very complicated. It's like the Bertelow equation of state because of its dependence on fresh uh, temperature, okay? But uh, also, there is a contribution of the molecular volume factor in this uh, IMFA term. So, this is the whole IMFA term. Mas makakita tayo ng molecular volume term sa loob niya. So, this is how the uh, Redlich-Wong equation was Device. We can also see that it's the same as Van der Waals and uh, Berthelot. Uh, pagdating dito sa term na to, sa RT over V bar minus P. So these are uh, Redlich and Kuang. Okay? So they were the ones who devised this equation. Actually, this is a phenomenological okay? equation of state. Uh, it means that this equation of state is effective only at certain conditions of pressure and temperature. Hindi mo siya ma-apply sa lahat ng gas. Pero you can use this actually at some practical purposes. However, yung Van der Waals sa Bertelow, medyo inaccurate sila at ambient conditions and at many possible conditions. So, hindi sila usually ginagamit as a model for gases in the practical sense. Okay? So, finally, we have this uh, Dietrich equation. Okay? As you can see, it's a transcendental function. Okay? Hindi siya tulad ng Van der Waals, Redlich-Wong, tsaka Bertelow na cubic. So, this is transcendental function. So, this is a transcendental function. Makikita nyo kasi yung E to the negative A over RTV. Okay? Although, it still has this RT over V bar minus B, which is also common in uh, the Van der Waals, Redlich-Wong, and Bertelow equations. So, this is Conta Dieterici. Okay. So, in summary, we have these real gases, the Van der Waals, okay, the Bertelo. This is the Dieterici, Dieterici, and this is the Redlich equations of state. Okay. So, as you can see, meron silang common factor, and this common factor it okay, can be converted actually into a virial form. So I'll exhibit okay, how they are um, converted into the virial form. So uh, clear. Okay, clear muna natin. So let's start, for example, sa Van der Waals equation RT over V bar minus B minus A over V bar square. So convert muna natin siya sa Z. Okay? So, how do you convert that to Z? Multiply muna natin siya ng B bar over RT sa both sides. So, this becomes Z. Okay? 
So, Z is equal to RT over V bar minus V times V over RT is P over V bar minus B minus, so A over V bar squared times V bar over RT is A over V bar RT. Okay? So, convert natin to okay, into a virial expression. So, papano? Tagay muna natin siya dito. V bar minus B. Multiply natin siya ng 1 over V bar. Over 1 over V bar. Makikit, makukuha natin ay 1 over 1 minus B over V bar. So, this is uh, similar to this expression. 1 over 1 minus X, which is also equal to 1 plus X plus X squared plus X cubed plus dot dot dot. So, therefore, we can express this as 1 plus B over V bar plus B over V bar squared plus b over v bar cube plus dot 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 minus a over v bar r. So, this is the virial expression for your van der Waals gas. So, is this uh, uh, legit or is this convergent? So, b over v bar should be less than 1, okay? Or at least it's absolute value. We know that this is the um, molecular volume contribution. So, if it is a molecular volume contribution, it should be very small compared to the uh, actual volume of the system. So, it's always small. Okay? So, therefore, B over V bar is less than 1. So, that's how you derive the virial expression for Z for the van der Waals equation. So, palik tayo dun sa slide. Okay? So, nag-derive na natin so, the next thing we uh, should do is to convert this Z as a function of V to Z as a function of P. As you can see, this is Z as a function of V bar because of the V bar terms here. Okay, wala kayo makikita pressure. So, we should convert this to Z as a function of P. Bakit? Because there are parameters in your real gas equation that you need to derive from the Z of P uh, terms or the Z of P equations. Okay? So, how do you convert uh, Z as a function of B, V to Z as a function of P? So, we need to uh, introduce an assumption. Okay? This is called the low pressure assumption. Okay? So, the low pressure assumption states that at low values of P, P or as uh, you can express this as, as P approaches zero, Okay? the molar volume of your gas approaches ideality. Okay? So, nagiging parang ideal gas yung, yung gas, or at least nag-approach lang siya sa ideality because your P okay, decreases, or you, at least you're using this equation at very low values of P. Okay? So, ituloy natin yung um, kanina. So, from this equation, okay, Let's substitute V bar is equal to RT over P. So, madali lang siya. Papalitan mo lang yung lahat ng V na yan, ng RT over P. So, Z equal to 1 plus BP over RT plus BP over RT squared plus BP over RT cube plus dot 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 minus A over or AP over RT squared. Okay? So, papalitan mo lang yung volume niya. So, this is now, okay, Z of P. And this is now Z of B. Okay? So, from Z of B, may mga kailangan tayo, or may mga ide-derive tayo mga expressions. Okay? We can derive some uh, useful expressions kapag dating natin sa uh, thermodynamics. And sa Z of P, madederive na natin yung fugacity and boil temperature. So, pareho namang useful yung Z functions na yan. And depende lang sa kung paano mo sila gagamitin or kung saan mo sila gagamitin. Okay? So, let's go back to the slides. Okay? So, in the future, uh, we, will be, we will be deriving and describing various parameters that are a consequence of real gas equations of state. Okay? So, for example, the thermal expansivity, alpha, the isothermal compressibility, kappa, and also, the alpha over kappa t. Okay, we'll also derive that. We'll also uh, define what is fugacity and derive the fugacity coefficient okay, in terms of Z of P. 
will also uh, describe the boil temperature condition and we will be uh, determining critical parameters critical temperature critical pressure and critical volume so see you next video